What is up and is going on guys, Simsy here and welcome back to another episode of my FIFA 15 Manchester United career mode. In today's episode guys we have two matches, the first of which is against Swansea and then later on we have a match against the Black Cats. We are playing Sunderland and speaking of Swansea we did sell Lindegaard to Swansea so we'll be facing our former player most likely in this episode, you have to see. But we did have a simulation match here against Bayern Leverkusen. And we do end up conceding pretty early on. And it'll be interesting to see if we win this match on the simulation or not. But uh, we do manage to get one back here. Valencia coming off the bench for Adnan Janazai to make it 1-1. And uh, it's going to be very interesting to see what happens to Valencia. Will he go? Will he stay? Who knows? But guys, we did have a transfer offer here for Scuffett, the 18-year-old goalkeeper. And I really wanted to bring this guy into the side to strengthen up uh, our goalkeeper uh, position, seeing as we just sold Lindegaard. And he has a really crazy potential, so hopefully we can uh, maybe loan him out. We'll see, but I, I really do want to be playing David De Gea for every single game because he is going to be one of the best goalkeepers in the world very soon. And uh, he has a crazy potential as well. We did have a simulation match here, a friendly against Barcelona. So it's going to be very interesting to see if we end up uh, winning or not. But they are fielding Masip instead of Bravo or Stegen. We do manage to get 2-1 up Rooney and Falcao getting up on the score sheet. So will we be able to hold this lead? Rooney picks up his second for the match. And we are playing at home against Barca. So it was a really interesting test to see if the simulation thought we would win over Barca. And we did. 3-1 on a simulation match was a really, really good result. Obviously, I was fielding my best team. I have been during these friendlies in and out. So uh, obviously, Barca weren't. So... They were giving their uh, youth a little bit of a run into the side. But uh, Ashley Young here could quite possibly go to Shakhtar. Also, David De Gea here. Um, like I've said, guys, I don't say no to a transfer. Um, I really wouldn't want to sell David De Gea, but for $60 million, yeah, that is a ridiculous amount for a goalkeeper. Whether or not we do sell him to Juventus, We'll just have to see. But that's how I just play career mode and I enjoy it the most. But guys, speaking of career mode and the match, that was a horrible segue. I don't even know why I need to say that. We are versing Swansea here and uh, hopefully we can pick up a win in our first match. We are playing a 3-5-2 formation. Obviously, we've got Falcao, Robin Van Persie up front. We've got Wayne Rooney in the center attacking mid role, creating the plays. And uh, Angel Di Maria and Ander Herrera on the wings. I did put Adnan off. And obviously Vidal and Mata. I'm going to be playing Vidal a little bit more back. And I want Mata to push up a little bit forward. Nearly just like sit behind Wayne Rooney. And I want Vidal to just sit in front of my defenders. But uh, Swansea City have a really strong side here. Sigerson, Bonnie, Gomez. Bloody hell, and they also are filming Lindegaard, so it'll be very interesting to see if we can uh, score here. But Ander Herrera manages to whip it into Falcao, and Falcao starting off the scoring for his first goal for Manchester United in the Premier League. Well, he's headed here, and uh, it was a really good goal. I was happy with that. Ander Herrera is actually quite good on the wing, uh, to be quite honest, even though he's probably not, he's probably even too tall. He's probably more suited in the central. Uh, central mid roll but I really want to give Ander Herrera game time, and I feel like he's probably a better sort of winger than Juan Mata or Vida. I know they're both not wingers, but um, I, he's actually doing surprisingly well, and I'm going to keep him there for the time being. Robin Van Persie blasts it, but unfortunately got a little bit too curved on there from the Dutchman, and uh, it really didn't trouble uh, Lindegaard at all. But speaking of the Dutchman, he's on the ball here again, manages to find one Mata, and one Mata with the left foot there, whew, trying to test the former Manchester United player, but unfortunately it doesn't get off there. And we nearly score here with Vidal, but uh, a nice little scoop, I don't know, it was like a little scoop deflection hit. But uh, it doesn't really matter what it was. It was, a, it was a miss in the end. Robin Van Persie then manages to find Falcao. And he turns the defender to pick up his second goal for Manchester United. And uh, what's a goal there to be 2-0 up against Swansea. What a fantastic, nice piece of team play. And he is starting to be a little bit ambitious after his first goal here. 
absolutely blasts it. And uh, that really just shows how much of a world-class player he is. He's through ball. He's through here on again. Does a Ronaldo chop, trying to create some more space. But unfortunately, he was made to shoot there. He was going to get shut down quite quickly. And unfortunately, it just goes over the bar. Falcao manages to find Ray Wayne Rooney. And uh, God, near post nearly. I didn't really want to cut back inside there. Hits the post. It was, whew, it was a very uh, testing shot of shot here. Angel Di Maria with the corner manages to whip it into Rojo. And again, we hit the woodwork. And Rojo there nearly got his debut goal. We were really dominating Swansea here. They weren't getting much in the midfield. With this 3-5-2 formation, if you really can hold up the midfield and take your chances forward, it is absolutely awesome. And I really am enjoying this 3-5-2 uh, formation. I'm actually playing the same formation in my Real Madrid career mode. And it's actually working quite well. We're obviously 2-0 up. We won our first match. Vidal there trying to create some space. <laughs> I'm trying to be a little bit ambitious because if you guys have seen my uh, Real Madrid career, I did score a fantastic finesse with James Rodriguez. It was actually awesome. You probably should go check out that career mode. If you don't want to, don't. I'm sure you guys are going to do whatever you want anyway. But Wayne Rooney there managed to cut back inside onto his right foot and managed to make it 3-0 in front of the United crowd. So 3-0 up against Swansea. Falcao scored two goals, and Wayne Rooney with the other. I'm starting to gel like a side now. I'm getting comfortable with the team, and uh, I really am enjoying this career mode, and I hope you guys are as well. We do have another highlight here. Falcao on the ball managed to find Fellaini fresh off the bench. Unfortunately, he misses Adnan with the chest, but he manages to chest it just a little bit too far forward, and it manages to get into the clutches of the Swansea City goalkeeper, and we didn't capitalize on it in the end. Vidal, uh, sorry, not Vidal, Falcao ends up getting man of the match with two goals, and Wayne Rooney manages to get the other one. We do have another match in today's episode, guys. It is against Sunderland. Now, we do have a transfer here again uh, for Darren Fletcher, 75 overall, 30 years of age. I'm quite happy to get rid of the Deadwood out of the side. We do get a loan off here from Shrewsby for Reese James. 56 overall, 20 years of age. And we do end up selling, selling Darren Fletcher to Aston Villa. Manchester United legend. I salute you, my friend. Um, that frees up a little bit more money for us. Phil Jones here, an offer from West Brom. Now, Phil Jones... I'm not too sure about him. 79 overall, 22 years of age. That's a crazy potential. I don't plan on selling him anytime soon. But once again, guys, if it's a ridiculous offer, I will do. Marion Fellaini from Frankfurt. We did get a loan. And Sergio Aguero. Wow, he actually signed for Real Madrid in this career mode. Hmm. Same as in my, uh, I did sign him in my Real Madrid one. <laughs> I'll try not to cross it over too much. Uh, Javi Martinez. Wow, he went to Manchester City. That's quite surprising, to be honest. But we are playing the match against Sunderland here. I'm hoping we can pick up a, a good result. Not so much in real life. But <laughs> we are playing the same 3-5-2 formation after the 3-0 win against Swansea and that 1-0 win against Cor is it Cordoba, from, from what I can remember. We're doing well. And even with the simulation matches uh, against Barca, so I'm hoping we can pick up a win here. And like I said, guys, if the 3-5-2 manages to, is it managed to, manage, manages to expose us, I will be switching up with my 4-1-2-1-2 formation. But my main objective here is to get as many goals and as many points as possible this first leg of the calendar. Because if you have a look at it, we have one of the easiest fixtures ever. In the Premier League, we have a lot of mid to lower league sides. No offense to <laughs> um, if you support one of those teams, but we need to pick up max points. And I think playing a 3 5 2 formation and getting up on the counter attack, pushing as many men forward, is the way we're going to have to uh, do well in the Premier League. Now, speaking of doing well in the Premier League, uh, I'll just get back to that in a sec. But Angel Di Maria manages to pick up his first goal for Manchester United you know, running down the wing. And absolutely blasts it to make us 1-0 up against Sunderland. Now, as I was saying, my main objective for this career mode is to get top four. I want Champions League for next season. And I think we can do it. Um, but it's really going to be decided, uh, probably more so towards the end. If we can pick up max points here, that will put us in a fantastic position. So if we do, in fact, lose points against teams in the top four, it won't be that detrimental. 
But um, yeah, my main objective is top four. I'm not too concerned about the cups, but if we could get a cup run in, that would be quite good. Whether or not we can win the Premier League, it's way, way too early days to even consider that. But the way we're playing at the moment, Falcao scores his third go, uh, third go, go, third goal for the episode. Absolutely blasts it to make it two 0 up against Sunderland. Angel Di Maria picking up the first one, a nice little cutback here. Dummies the player, and the Sunderland goalkeeper there had no, no chance whatsoever. But Adam Johnson, the former Manchester City player, <laughs> trying to create something for his side. But Rojo manages to... I don't even know what Rojo was doing there. He's containing now, trying to get it back. But uh, we weren't giving Sunderland a break at all. And Rojo manages to get it clear. So they were pressing... But unfortunately, they couldn't seem to capitalize on that. Rafael, fresh off the bench. He's pushing up there. Unfortunately, he couldn't get his shot off. And uh, he probably would have scored if he actually got through there properly. But guys, thank you very much for watching if you've watched all the way through. I really do appreciate it. Make sure to leave a like on this video to support my channel and this series. Thank you very much, guys. I'm going to go play some more Manchester United career mode. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Simpsy out.